break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy You can do whatever channel so today is the start of planting season I'm gonna start off um, planting some of the things in the house because we don't know when the last frost and it's just the 13th of February so it's better for me to wait till I get closer to March um, to plant the other things so they can go outside because usually around it just all depends usually around March end of March we start seeing a break in the weather and it's like a consistent temperature at night and during the day. It's not as cold. And we've been having like some really um, nice weather. Like today was the high, the high was 60 and it rained all day yesterday and it was freezing. So today is February the 13th and we are going to start our indoor garden and then work our way out. Remember I showed you, I don't know if I showed you, um, if you watched the grocery haul, I showed you all the seeds that we have bought for us to plant. Um, I'm going to do herbs right now um, and then outside we're going to do two types of onions, red onions and these little walla walla onions. So they're not very, very huge. I'm, I'm assuming they don't look very, very huge. I'm um, going to do two types of cucumbers. Um, indoor um, for herbs, I'm doing some cilantro, basil, um, and fresh rosemary. Well, all of it's gonna be fresh, but rosemary um, and oregano, because those are the spices that I always use. Not spices, herbs that I always use anyway. Um, we're doing two types of lettuce. I showed you guys the process of the heads of lettuce that I cut off right at two weeks ago, um, and I've just been storing them, and they have been sprouting. But now, after two weeks of them being in water, they have to go ahead. Um, if I want to eat, eat them, and that's a little memory in the back. If I want to, if I want to be able to use them for our family to eat, they need to go ahead and be planted. So I've got two planter boxes right here that I'll store in here because I have a sunroom that is full of natural sunlight that comes through all day. Um, so that works out wonderful. But without further ado and all this talking, we're going to start planning. I wanted to show you too the products if you are interested in doing your own little herb gardens um, or indoor little plants. I wanted to show you some of the things that I got that we're going to use. Excuse my dirty floors, they will be mopped tomorrow. It is life. But um, we got the Miracle Grow um, Garden Soil, and they also recommended if you don't get the Miracle Grow. We got Miracle Grow because we got, you know, we got a little baby named Miracle. So we got to get everything that says Miracle. And that's what we find ourselves doing. Like any little thing that has Miracle on, we're going to try it out. <laughs> um, but the Vigoro, I hear that the Vigoro pretty much is the same thing. It's just a different name and it could be a different company, but they do the same thing. So if you're in an area and you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, we purchase all of this stuff at Home Depot. Um, even those containers were like inexpensive, three dollars. Um, and then all the seeds, the seeds actually cost more, but we spent like I would say um, forty dollars on seeds. But we're gonna get a harvest in Jesus' name that's gonna feed our family for the whole summer and fall. Um, that's the plan, and be able to bless other people and sell some. Um, this is what you will need to to plant. Um, with the seeds because this helps growth and it has everything that it needs in there if you want a productive um, harvest. So we're going to go ahead and get inside of these planters. I'm going to fill this with of course soil and then I'm going to start with the lettuce, get that planted and then go from there.
Um, I planted three different herbs, oregano, um, cilantro, and rosemary. <laughs> um, and they can grow together, it's fine. They'll just grow together because if they were planted in a garden outside, they, they're not gonna be all the way over here and right here, right here. Just plant them just like if you were to plant any other vegetables that beside, beside each other. So yeah, so I'm gonna water these, but you saw what I did, I put the soil on first, made a little hole um, inside the soil, poured the seeds, kind of covered it up a little bit and then added, um, of course, this seed starter food that's gonna help to promote um, the growth. I will say this, what something that I did learn um, when I talked to like a herb, herbalist or whatever um, from Home Depot, do not just go out and just think that you can just plant your vegetables or lettuce or whatever just in the dirt because she said that that will like contaminate it and cause um, your lettuce to taste like trash and we don't want trash lettuce. You don't want all this other like wisteria and different stuff like that because there are animals and stuff that's going out there and you want the ground to be safe for your family to eat. But that is it for this portion of the video. I will keep you guys updated um, for this and I'm gonna get dinner finished. My husband was just asking me how are you planting vegetables and herbs and cooking dinner because that's what you do when you a mama and a wife and you gotta get everybody fed because food versus food yeah see you guys soon. Bye. hey guys so i want to give you a recipe for the best whole wheat french bread you know how you go to longhorn and they have like oh my goodness the bread and the butter as you wait for your appetizer or your main entree well we're gonna remake create that today so let's get started so for the ingredients for this recipe you'll need of course six cups of whole wheat flour two tablespoons of instant yeast two cups of hot water a half a cup of vegetable oil three tablespoons of granulated sugar one tablespoon of salt of choice i prefer table salt which is i dye salt and a half a cup of warm water and then of course a botch bread mixer or bread mixer or what I got which is my trusty professional grade KitchenAid I think all of them say professional <laughs> I don't know but anyway these are the ingredients the way this works is we are going to add of course our um, warm water to our yeast mixture first off I'm going to get a, a fork out because to me it just works better and just give this a little mix up right here. It's instant, so while we're adding everything else, it will puff up like it needs to. Now to the hot water. Make sure your water is hot. Just throw it into your mixer. Throw your oil in your mixer. Everything is just thrown in. And that's why I love this recipe because it's so simple and easy and it's so delicious. And it only takes like an hour to do. Throw your sugar in there. And then we're gonna add three cups of flour to this and mix it up. Yeah. Added my three cups starting off and I'm just gonna turn this on and let it mix. Once this is combined well, we're gonna add our yeast mixture in and then we'll add the remaining flour and you're gonna let it rest as is for 10 minutes covered and then we'll do all the nice stuff to it and then bake it up. We're gonna add the remaining of the flour Gonna 
Mix this up until it forms a hard ball and pull from the sides. Okay, so this is how your dough should look. It's not too sticky and it's not too firm. Yes, clean from the sides. And all we're gonna do is get a paper towel or you can get a dishcloth, whatever you have, and just let it rest for 10 minutes covered and then we'll come back and remove it. Um, we will roll it out and get it into our loaves. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and get it straightened up in here. I'm gonna whip up my salad. I'm gonna show you guys that. Um, and I wanted to show you this manicotti that tried it but this is what I found at Aldi it is the spinach and cheese manicotti so it's filled with spinach ricotta romano and parmesan cheese it sounds so good mm -hmm. so all I've got is some ground beef over here and I'm gonna throw that um, cook that ground beef up and let the sauce simmer and then um, these take let me see how long it takes it may say I got two of them because, of course, my large family. Um, this just says it serves about four people. But, um, yeah. Once I make it, if it seems too small, then I can always, um, I've got some stuff, um, shells. But I think it's gonna, it's gonna be just about the size of a lasagna because that's how I'm gonna layer it. Um, yeah, and then bake it. And so, I'm thinking the pasta is already cooked. So I'm thinking probably about 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes. I'll tell you guys um, how it comes out. If it's worth getting, I'll make sure that I put that in the video when I'm editing. Um, don't mind my bleach spots, y'all. Sorry. Yeah. It's Monday. And we all got bleach spots. Because we be cooking and cleaning. Yeah. yeah. Cash thinks I'm funny. But yeah, so I'm gonna whip up this salad and get this dinner on.
Okay, so after you've let it rest for 10 minutes and it has doubled in size, you of course will flower a surface with the same flower that you used, or you can use AP flower. You just need something that's going to um, help form the dough into a ball, just knead it up into a nice size ball. And then of course you saw me use my pizza cutter to cut it in three um, pieces to form three loaves. So yeah, once you form those three loaves, you will put it on, um, of course, a baking sheet and it will do the remaining of 30 to 45 minute double in size and you will brush with an egg. Um, just whisk, whisk your egg up and lightly brush it on there. It will not have an egg flavor. It just gives it the nice shiny coat. So when you see beautiful loaves of bread everywhere and you see them with that shiny coat, it is because they used egg wash or they used heavy cream. So yeah, so we'll bake this in a 375 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until golden brown. So now I've got a mess. I'm gonna clean up in this kitchen. Excuse my pantry. That is somewhat organized. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get this sauce on for, I've already cooked my um, ground beef and um, got my sauce in the pan. I'm just gonna add my um, spices. I'm so sad. I, I literally, I don't even know how much. I, I would have to say October. I bought a case of vegetables. Like I bought a case of corn, a case of rotel, a case of um, green beans, and a case of diced tomatoes. Um, and they were just the plain ones. I bought them at Sam's Club. And, of course, I wiped out within two months the, um, the corn and the green beans um, but up until last week I still have some rotel left um, but up until last week I thought I had like at least three more cans um, it was like a 12 12 uh, pack of um, diced tomatoes and I ran out and I'm so sad because I love to add diced tomatoes in um, any like tomato based dish I just love that bite um, I do have some um, tomatoes a little bit in the sauce but it's not as not as you know like thick which I'm making a manicotti so it's really not gonna matter but I just like that extra anyway but um, I wanted to tell you guys this I know you probably saw me cutting up um, the romaine lettuce and I saved the heads because I am going to put them in water and grow them Hey guys, look at me just rubbing it in. Make this bread. Yes, it's so delicious. Longhorn, you have nothing on me. I'm just joking. Yeah. It was so good. I'm sorry. I'm just rubbing it all in. Y'all see I got this belly anyway. My baby's nine months now, so there's no excuse. But dinner is served. The manicotti was amazing. Go to Aldi and get you some. Pair it with a salad. Make you this homemade bread and serve it to your family. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up, like, and share. Look at my plants, y'all. After just two weeks, I added more things as well. Some beans, some broccoli, some tomatoes, the onions, some corn, just all kinds of good things. And I will give you another update next vlog. Bye.